My name is Glenn McIntosh. I'm a 2D and 3D animator as well as a concept artist and storyboard artist. And I'm in one of the coolest places in the world, which is the Royal Turrell Museum of Paleontology. One of the places that inspired me to do what I do for a living, doing 3D animation and doing concept studies for movies. And I've had the opportunity to work on a number of Jurassic films, including being the animation supervisor for Jurassic World and Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom and doing the storyboard work for Battle of Big Rock as well as in the new Jurassic film. All of that work comes from like doing a lot of research and a lot of studying. And a lot of that research and studying is done at the Royal Tyrrell Museum of Paleontology. I'm very, very lucky to have been born in Calgary and to have had such a supportive mom and dad. And they always not only supported my interest in art and drawing, but my interest in dinosaurs. So I've been coming here ever since I was a little boy, and I always loved the old style dinosaur sculptures that are dotted around Drumheller. Because of the rich history here and the amount of fossils that have been found in the Badlands and the Red Deer River Valley, this whole area 70 million years ago was on the edge of an inland sea, which is why you find so many of the incredible fossils that are in the Terrell Museum in these areas because a lot of them were buried very quickly in the sand uh, and preserved so perfectly, especially the Boreal Apelta and Kylosaur that is on display. One really exciting aspect of the Jurassic films and the evolution of dinosaurs in general is that the movies have incorporated what paleontologists have been learning over the years and it's so much fun to see that in the 30 years since the first movie came out we now have raptors with feathers on them, dinosaurs that are brightly colored, things that paleontologists have always speculated and uh, the more we learn about these animals the more we've tried to make them a part of the Jurassic style. One other aspect that I think holds a special distinction with the Jurassic films is that they, in our minds, were always beheld to a higher standard than, say, a fantasy film, something like the Lord of the Rings films, uh, just because they are more rooted in fantasy. The Jurassic films are obviously more rooted in science fiction, but as far as the presentation of the animals, the goal, as much as possible, is to make them as scientifically accurate as possible as well as making them terrifying and uh, cute when they can be, as well as the variety of dinosaurs that we've discovered just by looking at ceratopsians and comparing them to uh, modern deer or elk or caribou or reindeer or moose. You have ceratopsians with various horny frills, sizes of their, their frills, of the, whether the head ornamentation or the horns were on their, like their noses or over their eyes. Uh, all of these like varieties, of course, with all of these recent discoveries, you see the complexity and diversity of these animals, then imparting that knowledge onto the animators and working with them and the incredibly talented artists that make the live action dinosaur sculptures that the actors uh, interact with. And then we will combine uh, elements and aspects of both the animatronics and the CG animation hopefully to a point where the, that line is blurred and you just feel like you're looking at a real animal because in your mind it feels real, that's always the goal. So the idea of having my artwork featured in the Perspectives Gallery is uh, such an honor because I've always been endlessly inspired by the fossils and the paleontologists uh, and the artists that I've seen when I've been here. So it means an awful lot to me to be able to show my work and sort of how I imagine these animals looking and acting and uh, living their daily lives. So important and so much fun to see the next evolution of where um, these designs are going. And when you realize you're just looking at the bones, you're not even seeing the skin covering the bones, which is also why I love the entrance area where you see the family of Alberta sources to give you an impression of just how gigantic and majestic these animals were. And I hope you all enjoy the museum and everything it has to offer because it inspired me so much to do what I do for a living and hopefully it inspires you, whether it's a passion that you might have for art or paleontology uh, or film.
or all three.